Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our A to J Author New User Training. My name is Jessica Bullock Frank, and I am the program coordinator here with the Center for Access to Justice and Technology. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that y'all are on mute. If you want to ask a question, please raise your hand or put your questions in the question box. Um, if you're calling in by phone today, make sure to enter your audio pin so that when um, if you need to be unmuted, that you can be heard by the phone. And this session is being recorded and is going to be posted on our a2jauthor.org website or our a2jauthor YouTube channel. Today's um, topic is simple and conditional branching. On the agenda, we have first, what do we mean by branching? Then we'll have a discussion of the two types of branching, simple and conditional branching. So what is branching? Branching is the ability to direct an end user to a particular line of questions or avoid particular questions according to answers given by the end user. Um, you don't want to make the end user go through a whole line of questioning that isn't relevant to their situation. So for example, you could ask the end user, are you married? If they, if they click the yes button, then you would continue to ask them questions about their spouse. If they answer no, then you can skip the spouse information altogether because it's not relevant. Branching is one of the key features of A to J Author. You can create one interview to meet many situations. It makes information gathering clear and efficient. And you can present each end user with a tailored interview. The first type of branching is simple branching. That's using buttons to direct the end user. You are directing the end user down a specific line of questions or helping them to avoid irrelevant questions. For example, in this uh, screenshot, we're asking the end user if they're married. If they are married, like I said, we'll direct them down the path of spouse information. If they aren't married, we'll skip to the next set of questions asking if they have children or what their income is. So we, um, we treat the end user in a very customized way so that they're not wasting their time doing something they don't need to do. Simple branching is done by using the buttons tab in A to J Author. You can have up to three buttons per question. In this example, I only have two, but you can simply add another button with that little plus sign um, under the yes and no. Each button can be set to have a different destination question. So here you can see that the yes button is what we're on right now. And if the end user selects yes to the are you married question, it's going to direct them to the destination question, spouse name. If they selected no, it would take them to um, the children's set of questions. You can also change the labels. So for example, if it made more sense to the are you married question, if you wanted them to answer married, single, divorced, all of those buttons can lead to a different um, outcome. Then the, the second type of branching is conditional branching. That's where you use the advanced tab to create conditions to direct the end user. Conditional branching is taking information gathered in the question and evaluating it in a condition in the advanced tab of A to J. So simple branching happens in the buttons tab. Advanced uh, conditional branching happens in the advanced tab where you have all the magic happening. With conditional branching, you add conditions that evaluate the data entered by the end user. Each condition then determines where to send the end user based on the information they entered. And um, here, we have the two most commonly used forms of conditional branching, using it with questions that have three or more options, or questions that collect data that needs to have some kind of comparison going on. So for example here, um, the question was about annual income. And um, this can be a sample for like online intake if you have a means test um, for whether or not your legal aid organization can help an end user. Um, you can ask them what their annual income is. If, and here in this example, I have the condition, if it's 30,000, they qualify, move on. If it's between 30,000 and 50,000, you want to ask follow-up questions like, what are your expenses like? Um, how many children do you have? That kind of thing. If the income is over 50,000, you can exit them right out of the interview because they don't qualify. Um, Let's go to the A to J that was created to show simple and conditional branching. And you can see what I'm talking about here. Make that a little bigger. Okay, so 
So here is my A to J, and the best way to see it is we will just um, preview it from the beginning. So we start off asking for the name, collecting the gender. I already have this in here. I'd already answered some questions before, so it's populated with the female option. And here's the first, are you married, question. So are you married? If I selected no, it would take me to the do you have children question. If we go back and I select yes to the married question, it then asks about the spouse's name. So this was simple branching. Let's go into the question so you can see it. Nothing's different on the front question. There's no field because I'm not asking the end user to enter any information. All the magic happens in the button. So here I have the label yes, destination question, what is your spouse's name? If they select no, then I take them to the children question. Another way that um, branching, simple branching can be used is to collect a variable that can be used later. So for example, in um, this section, I made a variable married true false. And if they select yes, not, it does two things. It sets this married true false variable to true and it takes them to the destination question. They select no. Mary true false variable, same variable as the yes button. It goes to false instead and also directs them out um, to a different set of questions. This information, this variable, married true false, can be used later on um, to ask, ask a question as well, or to um, set them on a different track for um, branching as well. So there's two things you can do with the button. Destination question and set a variable. So let's say, um, no, I'm not married. Here's another branching, simple branching. This time I have three buttons. So do you have children? Yes, no, or we're pregnant. Like I said, you can change the um, button label to whatever you'd like. So let's say, no, I don't have children. All right, here is where conditional branching comes in. The, um, yes, conditional branching. So here's the question, what is your annual household income? Let's say, if you remember back to the example, I had 30,000, they're gonna move right on. So let's say anything under 30,000, they're gonna move on and ask for the primary source of income. In that middle range where I might be able to help them if um, their expenses are outweigh their income or something like that, that was in the 30 to $50,000 range. So let's say my income is forty-five thousand. I need if their income is between that thirty and fifty thousand, I need to ask them more questions about their expenses to see if they still qualify. So let's say my income is forty-five thousand, and I branch to another follow-up question of how much do you spend a month on basic living expenses? So let's say I spend a thousand dollars a month and I don't qualify. And I can show you if, they, if I say that my annual income is over 50000 kicked out of the interview, they don't qualify. So let's go back to this question, and you can see the conditional branching on the back end. See, fields, we're just collecting this income variable. Here's the magic. So in the first condition, after the user presses the button, so after they enter their income and hit the continue button, I want A to J to evaluate income and U, the variable that we collected here, and whether that is less than or equal to 30,000. If that is true, I want A to J to take go to the question income type. So this is the end user that automatically qualifies to use um, to continue on. Their income is less than or equal to 30,000. The second condition I've created is for that middle group where I need to ask more questions. So after they enter their income and hit continue, I want A to J author to, tell, to figure out whether their income is uh, greater than 30,000 and also less than 50,000, so in that middle range. This is true. I want to go to that follow-up question about expenses. And the final one is the end user that we can't help because their income is too high. They don't qualify. This one, after they enter their income, hit continue want A to J author to evaluate whether or not it is greater than or equal to 50,000. If that is true, 
I want them to kick them to that sorry you don't qualify question. Okay, let's go back. Here is another example where I used a little bit of branching. So this is the radio buttons. They have four options of what their primary source of income is. Full or part-time employment, retirement investment, government benefits, or other. Perhaps they're getting alimony or some other kind of income that's coming in. Um, the first three, um, let's see the back end here. I've made this a multiple choice. What, the variable is income source, MC. If they select full or part-time employment, I want the default variable to be employment. Retirement investment, default, same variable. Default value is retirement. Government benefits, same variable. Default value is benefits. And if they select other, again, same variable, income source, MC. Default value, other. However, this other, I need to find out what that other is. Obviously, it didn't fit in with the choices I gave them, so I need to give them an option of where they can type in what that source of income is. So if we go to this condition with the conditional branching, if after the user presses the button, the button continue, they select one of the radio buttons and hit continue, if income source MC, the variable that I collected in this field, is other, which would be if they selected other, if that is true, I want to go to the question and ask them, please describe your income. If that is false, in that they selected any one of the other three options, then go on to the exit question because they're done with this interview. Let's preview that real quick. What is the primary source of income? I'm full-time employed. Awesome. Congratulations, you're done with this interview. We go back. I got my income from something other than these three options. Hit continue. Please describe the source of income. So now and hit continue. Then you finish the interview. So again, that was branching from the radio buttons as well, but only on this other option, the other button. Okay. Are there any questions at this point before um, I go back to the PowerPoint? If there are, feel free to raise your hand and I will unmute you. Okay, I'm not seeing any, so back to our PowerPoint. Um, that's kind of the end of the training on simple and conditional branching. It's not um, a very in-depth topic, but it is something that's hugely important to customizing your interview for the end user. So a little note about upcoming training. We have our first, uh, our, our new user workshops the first Thursday of every month, as you know since you're here and signed up. And we also have A to J Author Advanced User Forums, which are the third Thursday of every other month. So I did the live training last month in, um, at the TIG conference. So we're going to do the next Advanced User Forum next month in March. You can register for all trainings on A to J Author.org. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to contact me. My email is jbolek at kentlaw.edu. Feel free to call me as well. Make sure to check out our new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash A to J author. Um, we post our videos and we're going to be moving a lot more new content over there as we are updating our A to J author website as well. Big thanks to Callie for giving us our go-to meeting services. And before I end it, are there any other questions? Okay, well everyone have a great day um, and I will see you all next month. Thank you.